On behalf of the Recording Academy, it's my honor and pleasure to welcome you to this illustrious celebration where we gather to recognize individuals and groups who have made profound contributions to the recording field through the Lifetime Achievement Trustees Technical Grammy and Music Educator Awards. gentlemen, please welcome one of my favorite teams, Barry Mann and Cynthia Ryle. I really do want to thank the Academy for recognizing that it all begins with the song. Without the song, thank you. Without the song, there are no singers, no musicians, no recording artists, no record labels. No business managers, no publishing companies, no music business, and no recording academy. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for legendary bluesman, Buddy Guy. And to receive something like this on a night like this, my mother used to tell me, say, if you don't have any money, buddy, hang around with people who got money. <laughs> so. Uh, I think I'm in the right place tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, representing George Harrison, please welcome his son, Danny Harrison. He was one of the most extraordinarily complicated and um, intense people that you could ever meet, and yet he was one of the most perfectly simple and uh, innocent people that you could ever meet. But on behalf of him and... Uh, uh, my family, I'd love to thank the Academy for this deep, deep honor. Uh, what a year as well to, for him to be honored um, amongst so many of his friends. Ladies and gentlemen, for the Bee Gees, please welcome to the stage Morris's son Adam and Mr. Barry Gibb himself. Robin. Robin was an incredible, witty, the funniest person I've ever known, but then Morris was too. They were two of the funniest people I've ever known. And little Andy, who, who uh, rose to his own stardom and, you know, he was amazing. He wanted to be a BG, but he was always a little bit too young. And, and, and uh, he was always like the little red light that followed the UFOs in closing counters of the third kind. So, <laughs> sort of true, you know. 